Today's Skull and Bones video is about how treasure maps work and why you should do them and how to do them. I'm going to explain how because some people don't understand how these work. Randomly, as you sail around the game, as you blow up ships, you will find treasure maps. They are a rare drop. Sometimes you can find them, uh, you know, just randomly from ships, from plunders. All They're all over the place. And I have three in my inventory right now. And uh, if you go to a treasure map and you left click on it and then click read treasure map, you'll get something like this. And you'll be like, well, I don't know where this is. I have no clue where this is. There's usually like a little image on each map that kind of may look familiar if you've explored the world enough. But in this case, this, this is an easier treasure map. Some of them are a lot harder to decipher, but this one says... Uh, the story is that this guy was trying to deliver a chest. He got attacked near uh, this Chico Mia jungle. But here's the keyword. Southeast of Ruins of Luke Coon. Southeast of Luke Coon. That's all we need. And treasure maps are always where you can walk around. I have never found one where you need the boat. So what that means is... Oh, they're about to sing. And that's going to disturb my video. Sorry, guys. Cut it out. Okay, so <laughs> Ruins of Luke Coon is right here. And southeast, the only other place that we can enter would be this little area right here called Lost City of Prey. And again, it, there's no way to really see the treasure. Like, there's no quest icon that tells you where to go. You have to figure this out on your own. Like, this is not southeast. This would just be south. And then over here, I don't think there's anything I have yet to explore. I know there's a few things all the way down here. But I doubt the game would would do that. So, in order to to test it, we I went here to this area here, which is Lost City of Prey, and I know it's here. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can tell it's here. So we're going to enter the zone, and we'll go ahead and disembark. Here we go. Now at the very top center of the screen, you'll see a little notification: treasure is in this outpost. That is how we know we are in the right place. So now, all we got to do is well find that little image here. This little turtle looking thing on a rock that's what we gotta look for so we're just gonna run around and i don't know where this is at but uh, essentially i'm gonna teach you how the devs normally program these little zones uh, this is a game developer thing here so uh what they do is they make a skeleton of the map that you're walking around on and then they populate it with all the leaves and trees and little decals so what this means is just pick a wall and this is technically a wall even though it's a rock it's an invisible wall that i can't bypass Pick the left or right wall when you enter the zone and just follow it. I'm going to follow the right wall here. And we're just going to follow it until we find the treasure. And it's going to be that easy. And the treasure will be marked with a big orange glowing thing. So we don't need to talk to anybody. You can see here I'm just skimming along the wall. Going behind here. There's nothing here. There's a little bit of bushes. Again, nothing here. Can't, can't go that way. The game simply will not let me travel that way. So we know... Uh, you know, this is just a process of elimination, and this works for a lot of games. There is very few maps in most games where this doesn't work. They're multi-layered with, like, things you gotta jump down and up in. Also, you can grab some items, you know, from the camps. So, if you wanna grab all the items from the camps, this is how to do it. I'm just spamming my use button so I can yoink everything out of the chests. And again, I'm just going to follow this invisible wall all the way around... And, and if you're ever trapped in a maze in real life, this kind of works in some mazes. Also, is that a... a <laughs> that's a lion, okay. I thought it was a butt. I don't know. I have butts on the brain. So, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna find this treasure, dang it. And, uh, again, I'm just hugging the right wall. It doesn't matter, you know, which wall you pick. But eventually, we will scour the entire area and find it. And, again, this always works in every map. Also, you know, grab some rockets, grab a leaflet. You know, we're picking up everything while we're here. And, again, just following the invisible wall as far as it lets me go. And a little, little rat there, a little meeper. Make sure that's, uh, can't run past that, run, run through that. Might find some secret zones. I have yet to find secret zones. Got some durian fruit there. I heard that stuff smells in real life. I've never had it. Cast iron ingot, very cool. It's a drowsy day. No away. Let's see, they're talking about being a drowsy day. Okay, whatever. And it looks like we're, we're, we're coming up on it. Again, I'm still just hugging the right wall here. Got some cannonballs, you know. And we're again, we're going to find it. Now, this is one of the bigger maps. Also, there's a book. Also, there's the there's a pyre, the pyre that gives you 
stamina boost, which, um, you know, sometimes those can be hard to find. This works for that as well. And any second now, we'll, we'll find it here. We are, uh, you know, as you can see, we've covered quite a bit of the camp. And there we go. We have grabbed more stuff. Now, it looks like we made it back to the boat. I did not mean to talk to this guy. And, uh, well, now we look through the middle. Okay, so, again, it's just a stone. There it is. <laughs> so, uh, you know, just be a little bit observant. And there we go. Now, the treasure is pretty good stuff. You could, There's all sorts of amazing things in here. Stuff that wouldn't even fit in a treasure chest. I don't know how it works. It's like a magic bag of holding. But here we go. Let's see what we got. And uh, we got, uh, well, 2,334 silver. And all we had to do was just fast travel here. I mean, I think that's pretty good. What else did we get? Um, oh, look at that. We got we got Iron Husk. That's not good. Um, <laughs> a Mortar Furnace I got earlier from a treasure chest. Let's see. And, you know, it's all right stuff. So uh, some of these are a little bit harder. And um, let's, let's just pick one here. And there's another tip, too, I'm going to give you. So let's just go ahead and read this one. And it says, the, the sea people spread uh, the tribe that the chests were cursed. I didn't care. I took them. The pirates gave chase. I lost them in Red Isle. I could live a thousand lifetimes and still have coin forever. So this one is very vague. We know it's in Red Isle. And, and here's how we know this. I'm going to show you. So if you open your map and then you push G, I don't, I don't know what it is on mount, uh, controller. And then you click MISC up here, this little tab here. You can scroll down to your treasure maps, and this will tell you the zone that it's in. So this is Red Isle. And uh, if we close this thing here and zoom out, and uh, you can see this is Red Isle. You see, there's like kind of, it's a really hard to see, but there's like a tanned line converging around this whole little zone here. So all you have to do to find this particular treasure, treasure uh, you know, thingy is, well, he, they talked about sea people. That, that's another hint is uh, the, the sea people, which um, if you mouse over these little things like that's Compagne Royale, which, let's see, that is, that's sea people. So we want a sea people town. So it's got to be here at this, the sacred tree. I'm going to just guess and let's see. I fast travel here. Let's see if we get the notification, the pop up. And no, it is not here. So, uh, that was guest number one. Let's try another fast travel with sea people. Let's see, that's rogues. Uh, what's down here? I don't think, I don't think sea people are down here. That is, uh, Farah and smuggler camp. So, again, it's gonna be, what is this, um, this one's fair military camp. And he, and the guy said he was chased by pirates, right? So, that might help kind of figure things out. Uh, what about up here? What do we got up here? There's like too, <laughs> too many things in the way. I can't click on it. All right, so that is hello game. That is oh sea people. There we go. That's the other sea people one. And let's go ahead. Also, it's rogue. It's rogues and sea people, which were both mentioned in the note. So let's see here. And no, it's not here either. But <laughs> essentially, you're just gonna fast travel to every zone in the red. Uh, what should I call it here? The this, this big old area here, the Red Isle, until you find it. And, uh, yeah, there's not too many. What is this one? This is Fair Military Camp. And you, you could just do a process of elimination. You know, that works, too. I don't think it's going to be in St. Anne, but um, just simply because that's like a hub town and not like just a random little area. We already checked there at the Sacred Tree. Where else can we check? Let's see. Royal Burial Ground. Why not? Let's just check it anyway. And uh, we'll see if we get a pop-up here. And nope. So one one thing I do suggest is that you stock up on a bunch of <laughs> on a bunch of treasure maps before you do this, because I'm just blowing through silver, which it's not a lot of silver, you know. Let's go down here to this outpost. Why not? Let's see if the notification pops up. I want to know where this is at. Like eventually, someone's gonna figure out where all these are. But nope, it's it wasn't there either. And, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Let's just go to here, to Verona Falls, and see if it's in this one. All right. There we go. We found it. <laughs> we finally found it. So, let's, uh, let's see what the image is. It's like a little circle with an X on it. 
And instead of doing the put my hand, right hand on the invisible wall, we'll just walk up high. We'll just get away from the little townsfolk here and just swivel our camera around and try to find it manually, see if we can do it faster that way. Which, um, it was a bad example of the last one I showed, but hey, it usually guarantees it. Uh, there it is. It's right here. So, there we go. <laughs> All right. So, how much did we spend? We spent maybe about uh, 1600 2000 on silver fast traveling around. Let's see if it's worth it. <laughs> now, this is a blue map. That other one we did was a green one. Or, not map, but a treasure map. There were 8,510 silver. We got a bunch of ivory spices. Like, those things are kind of annoying to get early game. Late, later, you can just, like, one-shot the ships. So, yeah, there you go. That's treasure maps. And uh, I bet there are purple and legendary ones as well, you know. And uh, I, we could do the third one. I'm not going to do the third one. The video's already long enough. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I read every single comment. And finally... Uh, if you don't watch the video on the right side of your screen, you're going to struggle to find your treasure chest maps. Mwah.